Hello, it's Dan from Flint and Cook, and this is the video tour for Maydean. Uh, this is a three-stroke, four-bedroom, uh, detached bungalow in the village of Little Birch. Um, so you can see to the front here, uh, we've got a nice big uh, off-road parking uh, facility here, and at least to the double garage, the integral double garage uh, underneath. And we've also got access from the side, uh, lovely spacious gardens, and we've also got uh, fantastic views to the rear uh, as well. So we'll go inside and take a look. So inside now, so you head through this entrance vestibule here and then into the entrance hall. So the hall then wraps around to the left, which then gives you access to the bedrooms, etc. So turning left, we have the lounge. So a really good sized room in here and also got the double aspect overlooking the front. And I also got the radiators in here, fitted carpet and an open fire as well. So I'll just pan around to show you this from another angle. I'll show you the front aspect of the garden. And then back into the hall and come across the hall and we have the dining room. So another really good sized room, could serve as an extra bedroom if required. Double aspect again, radiator. Views over the front garden. And then a door from the dining room leads into the breakfast kitchen. So again, nice, nice big kitchen. The fitted units here, antico floors. Sink unit on the front and electric cooker and hob on the left. Nice feature of this kitchen is we have Doors here out onto the balcony. So back in the kitchen and also worth noting a great selling point of this property is the views. So we've got a view of the rear garden. Uh, if I zoom in, we have a very nice view over to May Hill in the distance. So continuing on, we have the stairs that lead down to the lower ground floor, which I'll show you later. Next room is we have a shower room here. So wash and basin, WC, window to the rear and shower cubicle. Storage cupboard on my right hand side, and then further storage cupboard here with the double doors housing the hot water cylinder. And then main bathroom, which is a really good sized bathroom. So we've got the uh, panel bath, WC, wash hand basin, and window as well. And then bedrooms now. So starting with bedroom three, so this is the smallest. So a good sized bedroom, probably could squeeze a small double in here, but you've got plenty of space for furniture as well and a window overlooking the rear. Uh, over the front, we have bedroom two, which is actually currently being used as the master, but size wise, this is bedroom two, but a really good sized double, um, plenty of built in wardrobes and Views over the front garden. And then finally, bedroom one overlooking the rear. So, again, a nice big bedroom again. And we've also got built in storage as well. So, just panning around to show you the bedroom from another angle. And I've also got the benefit of the views over the rear. So we're heading down the stairs now from that stairway from the main hall down to the lower ground floor, which then leads us to the utility. So plenty of storage units here, workshop spaces, and also the sink unit, window to the rear, space for washing machine and tumble dryer. And we've also got an access door just here into the double garage. So plenty of space to store a vehicle with the up and over door and also window to the left. And there's also an access hatch there to uh, further storage space. 
and then panning around, going back through the utility, and there's the passageway at the bottom here with a window overlooking the rear garden. And around here, there's a really useful store cupboard, which formerly housed an indoor oil tank, which you can see the remnants of on the wall here. And then the door here gives us access into the study. So a really useful work from home space with a window overlooking the rear garden. And then we also have this access door to this storeroom down here, which houses the boiler. And there's further access on the left to um, the cellar as well for even more storage. So outside, just gonna pan around and show you the drive uh, frontage from another angle. So lots and lots of off-road parking. And then we've got very generous sized front lawn over here all enclosed by hedging, nicely maintained as well. Lots of ornamental trees, shrubs. And just to pan around, just to give you a sense of the space. And show you it from another angle. And there's also access uh, down the side here. Uh, coming down the side access, uh, we see the double bunded oil tank which supplies the central heating, continuing down the side access into a very generous rear garden. And showing the property there. So just taking a walk down, just to give you a sense of the space. And you've got a compost area at the bottom. And also in the center as well, we have the location of the septic tank which has three chambers and again showing the property from the rear aspect and you've also got the side access as well from the other side Just coming underneath the balcony. Yeah, just to show you the garden from another angle. So that's Maydine in Little Birch. To arrange a viewing, please call our office on 01432 355 455.